So what I'd like to run through is how to put a label on your 3D models in the easiest, most efficient way using basically free software that you can find on the internet. And it's really actually pretty easy to do once you understand a few of the more complicated features here in Mesh Mixer. So we're gonna go through a few uh, different tools today that might not be some of the common tools that you're using when you adjust the model like this. Um, and also talk about some of the shortcut keys which really save time on your workflow. So here we have a lower arch model. It's already been trimmed and kind of cleaned up already. But uh, we want to add a label on the back of that. And the label can really be anything. It could be uh, a patient's name, a location in the office where you store it. You can put a date on there so that you know when you go back and look where the date is. And you can really do it on any surface you want on the model. But I find that a flat surface is the best one to put a label on. So let's do that for today. So the first thing you need to do is identify the surface and you need to create the label. So I recommend using, uh, and I'm using a PC today, and I recommend using a free software uh, that is called Paint within the um, PC software. And what you wanna do is you wanna create a black square that's 500 by 500 pixels. And so you can do that in a number of different ways. Um, I can leave you some notes below on how to do that. But once you get your black square, you're gonna use the font key and you're gonna type the patient's name. So let's just use the word test. And we're gonna use it in a white color. You wanna have white or gray. And, and you wanna have the letters that you want on there. And you wanna be somewhere between about 80 and 90 on your font size to make it easy on yourself. So let's make this just to, for sake of display, 85. And we'll put enter there and we can center it using the tool. And there what we have is just um, a font on there. And then we're gonna save it as a PNG file. So if you go to save as, and we'll call it test. And you save it to your desktop as a PNG file. We're going to use that later in the uh, labeling. So what you do is you go back. And so before you can put any labels on, you need to prepare this surface. And what prepare means is remesh the surface. So stick with me, and I'm going to go through a few complicated topics here. But basically, if you, if you hit the W key, you're going to see all the tiny mesh on the uh, form and basically a 3d model is made up a series of these small triangles and what you'll find is that usually on a flat surface there's not a lot of triangles so we need to add some more we need to remesh that surface so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the select key and you've got two options for this you can go over here to select or we can just type the letter s and we are going to use the brush that's on there and we're going to use another trick called the crease angle threshold and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this crease angle threshold all the way up to the top and we're just gonna paint and what that crease angle threshold does is it allows you to select on a flat surface and not go over the edge um, just for an example sake if I drop that back down to zero and I was to do this surface you could see it's going over the corners here and it's going all over the place and making a kind of a mess um, I only want this flat side of the surface and that's a great tool for you to use later on or in other phases of your work where you're trying to maybe extrude a base and you only want to select the flat part of the base. So let's clear that selection again. Let's go back to our select tool, set the crease angle high and just uh, identify this, this back area where we are going to put the label and we want to see a tighter meshing. And you hit the R key for remesh and it will automatically calculate a better mesh on that surface. Now in a second you're going to see my settings up here. Um, I would recommend an edge length of 0 0.07 or smaller. And everything else you can see on here, you can take a screenshot or I can place it below for you. But basically these are the, uh, and you want the target edge length selected in your remesh mode. So basically copy these settings that you see right here. You hit accept. And what you can see is now we've got a tighter mesh on here than you do over here. And I'm going to show you the difference in a minute of how that works. So hit W key again to get back. Now I want you to hit the three button and the three button will take you into the surface setup. And here's the setup I want for both your brushes, your stencils, fall off and color. You should have brushes set to draw max. Stencils, you can add this on. The plus sign will add one on and you can see how I have some other stencils on here. Um, so we'll go to the desktop and we'll get, find our test PNG file and you'll see test one, two, three is on there. Falloff should be this square piece. 
and color, nothing to write in the color. Strength is your depth of your, your uh, emboss or your raised amount of your deboss, depending on how you choose to do it. And you have a choice here. Other than that, everything else, refinement should look like this and um, nothing on the filters. So that's a good setup for you. That should get you enough of what you need. There are almost like infinite ways to adjust this, but really all you need is to follow these settings on your mesh mixer in order to get a good label on there. So once you do that, you identify that flat surface. We've chosen the stencil we want. We want test one, two, three, and now you change the size. The size is right here. You can manually change it, or you can use the left or right brackets to go smaller or larger with your size. And then when you're ready, if you just press the left click key, you will get a, um, a debossed version of whatever you wanted to print on there. I like an embossed version, at least on the printer that I'm using, which is the Form Labs. It's a better, more uh, accurate um, print and it less likelihood of any kind of failure. So I'm going to Control Z to get rid of that, another shortcut tool that I use all the time. And I'm going to hold down the Control button and press the uh, left click on the mouse and you'll get that again. Now I didn't like the position of that so I'm going to move it over and do it one more time. Hold down control, press it and there we go. And what you have is an embossed version of your logo. Now let's just test it. I'm curious. I haven't tested this before. Let's see what it looks like on the side. We didn't remesh and it looks a little more goofy, a little more um, difficult to read and that's because we did not remesh. So that sort of shows the importance of remeshing this area to get the accuracy down here. But there you go, you've got it right there. Let's just test a few different things. So that's at a size uh, strength 18. Let's go to strength 57 on here to see how it goes. And you can see it's sticking out a lot farther. If we were to do a, um, and that's for a, a deboss, let's do an emboss, and you can see it's really deep in there. Um, too deep for me. So let's um, go back to our 18, which seems to work for me and my printer, but you can find sort of the sweet spot for you and your printer. Hold down the control key, and there you go again. You can use text, you can use logos, um, as long as it's a uh, pretty straightforward file, ideally just uh, black and white or gray and white, it's pretty straightforward to put that information on there. Um, and that's about it. You're ready to print and you now have a labeled 3D model on there. I hope this helps and I hope it uh, helps you work with your 3D models. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Take care. Bye-bye.